Okay, good afternoon. My name is Alexandra Ferenc. I'm the Spanish teacher of the St. Dominic High School. I teach all the farms from first farm to fifth farm. Um, the students in the background are farm three students and they are in this workshop to learn more about research, how to do research. They learn about PhD. Also, um, they had interest in the college life, university life, and how many years and the college of the university is. Um, the students are very enthusiastic about the topic. They want to know more and also they connect it to what they would like to do in the future. Um, as for the subject in general, it's interesting, especially for them. For those who do not know what they want to become in the future, they have an idea of how to do a research on that particular topic. Um, all in all, it was a good topic. Um, it was interesting for me also, especially for the opportunities. I did Erasmus and I went away to further my studies in the particular area that um, I was studying and this was mainly in Spain so I'm happy that they are hearing from it or about it and they can also be part of it and have a good experience to share. Hi my name is Elena Scave. My name is Zoe Sue. <laughs> what did you guys think about a workshop? We, well, I think that it was very entertaining and interesting because it gives us an idea of the course throughout the schools and the estimated time for to receive all the accomplishments like the bachelor's and master's and PhD. And yeah, it just gives us a sense of how everything's gonna be. Uh, I agree with her because usually high schools, when you begin, uh, they don't tell you in the beginning how long studying would go. And this uh, helps coming uh, formers to understand how the future careers would be like. Also, what do you think about the whole survey that you did? I think the survey was kind of interesting because like we really don't know that much about our classmates and the other form because like we don't really socialize with all of them we all have our separate groups that we are in so when we learn about them it's kind of interesting because I as an individual thought that like I was going to be the only one that wanted to study in Canada and by myself but now I learned that some of them want to study and some of them have a hard time expressing themselves just at me just like me um, in a way that uh, for some of us uh, for me before I didn't know what type of career I wanted to what type of career I want to pursue and I can feel I can rest assured that other students also have the same feeling that I have that they're unsure of what they want to be in the future did you think the idea of pursuing a PhD is the one that you would consider in the future yes because I just want as much as as much accomplishments as I can get just because I want to remember myself as successful in the future and yeah I just want a past that I can look back at and say that I did that for me I guess um, I will want to make my parents proud they raised me they gave me everything in life and in the future I want to accomplish something that maybe they never accomplished before yeah Great. thank you welcome You're welcome <laughs>